<gasps> Whoa! And she got scratched. Bear, bear, a bear. In the year 2022, a young man named Angel binged a show called House of the Dragon over the course of a week. Later, he joined his friends for the finale in a pub of no particular note or importance. But it was only revealed afterwards that the young man had never seen nor been spoiled of the original series Game of Thrones. Now, watch and relive the series from Angel's truly unique perspective as the Watchers in the Bar present. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Sean Tanktop, and I am over here at Casa de Tanktop, being joined by Angel. What's going on, Angel? Not too much. Just living life, living large. <laughs> living life, <laughs> living large. Feeling like you're on top of an ice wall. You're feeling so big about it, right? It's so beautiful. It is. It was very beautiful. It was very cute. You know, we're, we're, we're talking about ice walls. We're talking about all that kind of stuff because we're talking about Game of Thrones. A hot D fan watches Game of Thrones for the very first time. Um, that is what we are doing right now. And we are on episode seven of season three of GOT. Ended on a nice little cute note. Like, yeah. a, like a little... Like a couple, uh, some some sad stuff. Um, like we would have felt very differently about that episode if they had ended on Sophie Turner's scrunched up little red face, like <laughs> watching watching the fucking the, the ship just leave. You know what I mean? Like it was little finger talking about you know chaos, salada, you know, and all that shit and everything. Your favorite guy. Little finger. Your favorite guy. My least favorite guy. <laughs> There's been a bunch of I don't know, like a bunch of of maybe like kind of newly forged like kind of relationships have happened yeah you know what i mean like john and the Agret kind of are like a couple your mom and now john you know what <laughs> she I mean? she claimed is, him so fast she did, now, this is my man this is my restaurant she literally said she was like you aren't one of us really she called him out she like said it out loud and he just he, he just like looks off of the worst, like... the worst spy ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, apparently he can do it okay with everybody else except for her. You know what I How mean? How romantic. How romantic, right? <laughs> Gendry and Arya are getting kind of split up, but in a way that we thought that she was going to get shipped off to a, to some highborns and stuff like that. But the red woman came over and picked him up um, for something, and we don't <laughs> know what for. Yeah, and, and but Jamie's going to continue to go to the capital and shit, and then, I don't know, like, there's been... All these like, all of these marriages that are happening, yeah. like, and I think, and 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 some of them like we're kind of stoked, like you know we're a couple of fucking, you know we're we're, we're a couple of working class folks like in in, in two thousand and twenty three we're just like getting married to a Tyrion Lannister could do a lot worse, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like even though I I get it, it's, it's a member of the family who fucking chopped your fucking father's head off, like yeah, you, wouldn't, you would that would be something that you wouldn't while you watch I. I'm ready to jump into this one. You ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, and we appreciate you. We hope that you guys are ready over there. Um, and if you guys want, if you guys are even more ready, if you guys are just like, listen, like I am digging these. I really like this stuff. I'd like to see these completely full and uncut, and I'd like to see them a week early. Um, there is a way to do that, and there is a way to support the channel, that, like over here. And there, that best way is to hit us up on our Patreon. The links are in the top pin comment or the description below. You hit us up over there. You pony up eight bucks at the premium streaming tier, and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our GOT coverage, uh, including everything. Ooh. Ooh, sleeches. Sleeches, yeah. Ugh. Not ah! Not that. Not that. Ah! Woo! Right, but if you can't do that, if you still want to help us out, you can hit us with a like and a subscribe. Ring the bell thing, because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. Appreciate y'all for hanging out with us. Oh, that's his warp. Oh, so they're just, they're in the green place. So now they're fucking, they're in the green place. Like there's a little more time. <laughs> the green we place. have to go to the green oh, place. About a week, I think. Okay, so a couple more than four made it on the other know. side of okay, the Okay, yeah. We went to Castle Black. We didn't pan right. over to the left. Like there were some other you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and they just saw that whole thing. It's like, like, that was fighting. dramatic. <laughs> oh my Bang God. I'm out with them. Long. Right. Yeah, exactly. One the drummers. Is that a great honor too? They helped the men march. How? It's the rhythm. What do you mean? 
right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Right. <laughs> but you need help remembering She's that. She's fucking cute, man. She's great. Like When Mans gives a signal and we hit Castle Black, we won't be banging on drums to let him know we're coming. I love her. She's like an anti-government. Oh, like kind of oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like... She's like the cool fucking alternative chick you date in like high school or, or no in, in college. You know what I mean? Like, I know you cut me loose on the wall. Yes. They're loyal when it suits them. Love each other when it suits them, and they kill each other when it suits them. She knows it. You don't. Damn. Which is why you'll never hold on to her. Love triangle. Ooh. And he's like, "Now kiss me, Jon Snow." <laughs> <laughs> Not where I thought the love triangle was right. going, but I'll take it. So their marriage is out in the public now, obviously. Because the guy was pretty mad much, about it. yeah. That is why I've seen wet shit I like better than Wall of <laughs> Edmure is the best match of Frey has had in the history of their house. The way she's holding on to him, I'm like, same. <laughs> <laughs> You're like holding on and never letting go. It's like let's let them get the fuck out so we can make him hey. jealous. Je you think jealous? She's jealous. She's losing her baby boy to another yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I mean, like, that's a little bit of a parallel between her and Cersei, a little bit. He's such a milk toast little dude. Like he bit her lip and he was like, "Was that bad? <laughs> Was that naughty?" <laughs> like. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jon Snow is inventing cunnilingus work. There we go. We're free in the ass right now. <laughs> it's just staring right. If you don't put some clothes on, I can't promise I won't attack you again. He's like, but seriously. He's get like, some, get some like, clothes on. Now I'm like, I got, I got, some got that, I got that post nut clarity. I got to come up with a fucking <laughs> battle plan. <laughs> Who are you writing? My mother. Who is that? Your other boyfriend? This is that type of shit, right? Too, too, where like you're. You don't see your family for years, and then you get like a thing. It's like, yeah, so I married somebody and stuff like that. You have a grandson or whatever. <laughs> like, how? I know she'd love to meet you and her grandchild. What now? Preggers. I love you. No. Oh. Do you hear me? I love you. It's like, are you angry with me? It's like, angry? I've been fucking busting it going raw like, for every, every 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 night and then battle planning for for, for weeks right now. Like dogs. <laughs> Your cock shouldn't go near it. It's just slick as a baby seal. And then you go inside. What a man. <laughs> Again, Torment continues to win us over. I love him. <laughs> He made valid points, right? Like he's like he wasn't gonna give him up. He like he was he was like he'll hold on as best he can. Like he's a fucking he's a lover. You know what I mean? Like giggling like a pair of girls. What? You're jealous. Of course I'm jealous. <laughs> with one of your... I've never had a can word from your mouth. You would, if you were mine. Whoa! I tell you that you're beautiful. Oh my God! Fierce, wild. Good to you. Well, take it easy. Damn, he's like <laughs> he's laying it on thick. Like... You love him because he's pretty. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> you like his pretty hair and his pretty eyes. You mean you don't want a bit of this? He looks like I literally haven't drank water in four years. <laughs> like <laughs> see the Southern Knights in their painted armor and King's Landing after dark. You're a Stark, man. The fucking capital's no place for a Stark. Has Lord Tyrion mistreated you? No. Has he been kind to you? He's tried. You don't want him, though. He's a Lannister. Far from the worst Lannister, wouldn't you say? True. I mean... Come on. I'm this is this pragmatism of this fucking family. is so fucking sick. My son. With him. I'll have to... You'll have to make the sex. <laughs> He's rather good looking, even with the scar. Especially with the scar. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> That is the, which means that Marjorie has like kind of thought about it a little bit. It's like, man, haven't we all? Some like hairy men, some like bald men. 
gentlemen, rough men, so fucking ugly men. Dr. Seuss book right now. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> Tyrion may surprise you. From what I've heard, he's quite experienced. And we're very complicated, you know. Pleasing us takes practice. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mother teach you? Yes, sweet girl. My mother taught me. <laughs> <laughs> She's a shark. I'm like, but now I'm having flashbacks to that Daenerys scene with the one girl who's like, this is how you fucking gotta do eye contact. And I'm like, I'll take that with these two. <laughs> For real. <laughs> right? Marjorie, step in. Right? You're a lord, she's a lady. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in yeah, forever. it's been a minute since we've hung with Bronn. How did marrying a whore work out for you the first time? I should never have told you about that. <laughs> <laughs> you waste time trying to get people to love you. You'll end up the most popular dead man in town. <laughs> Ron's another motherfucker who just kind of seems to get it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And like we're just, we're having kind of the same scene that we just had. Oh shit! I remember this scene. This is incredible. I'd like a report on the meetings of my small council. You're welcome to attend the meetings of your small council, Your Grace. So if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand. Were you not attending them to begin with? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? We could arrange to have you carried them. How do we know these dragons are just curiosities and not the beasts that brought the whole world to heal? Because we have been told as much by the many experts who serve the realm by counseling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. But I haven't been counseled. You are being counseled at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> so sick. <laughs> Your grace. <laughs> Almost forgot to say it. Smiles. It's like this kid is afraid of me. Perfect. How many slaves are there in Yunkai? 200,000, if not more. And we have 200,000 reasons to take the city. She's just taking everybody. Right? Good, like, kind of visual storytelling, like how straight and strong these guys are, are standing, and then, like, all these guys in chains that are carrying him and stuff like that, you know? Now comes the noble Razdal Mo Eres of that ancient and honorable house. Oh, shit. She's got the dragon just sitting right next to her, too. <laughs> they're getting bigger. They're getting big as fuck, dude. Many an army has broken against our walls. You shall find no easy conquest here, Khaleesi. <laughs> The wise masters of Yunkai have sent a gift. <laughs> Literal gold bars. This. Sail them back to Westeros where you belong and leave us to conduct our affairs in peace. Fair. We'll get you a free Uber ride. Like, you know. I have for you as well. Your life. My life. <laughs> you will release every slave in Yunkai. Oh, shit. You are mad. We are not Astapor or Karth. Those who survive, we shall enslave once more. Perhaps we'll make a slave of you as well. You swore me Damn, something. that was sick. I did. Take the gold. <laughs> <laughs> like a classic dragon, they like My gold. Like <laughs> now get out. In I know he wasn't, but it always kind of reminds me of like an old like Italian grandmother or something like that. Where it's like, <laughs> <laughs> They're getting Aww. big. I love him. I didn't ask for this marriage. She's a beautiful girl. You said so yourself. That doesn't mean th this is duty, not desire. Is that what you will tell yourself when you fuck her? I don't have a choice. My father does not. Shay, all right. Shay's got to be saying a little less yeah. right now. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am a Lannister of Casterly Rock. And I'm Shay the funny whore. Which is why she should kind of understand this situation a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I will buy you a good home. Any children we might have will be well provided for. Oh, he wants to have kids. You'll always be my lady. 
I'm your whore. And when you are tired of fucking me, I will be nothing. What's your read on this? I get it. Sure. Maybe maybe it's just too soon. You know, she's in her head. <laughs> you know? Because he has said before that Sansa's pretty, so she would yeah. obviously get jealous if she knows that he has to fuck mm -hmm. her and marry her. Ooh. Interesting. Something shit. Interesting. Wildfire. I should have been here. They're going to cat they're going to I mean, King's Landing. I am back where I started. You saying my father, he was some lord or your father's house. Let him know. Right? There is power in a king's blood. So if even like they can use him and be like, this is the rightful heir. Or she literally just wants his blood. Well, like, I mean, if, if, if they, I mean, he technically, in some sense, other than the fact that he's lowborn, has a better claim to the throne than Stannis does. That's a fuck. And she's working for Stannis, or is she? She's working for the Lord. Of Light. <laughs> she answers, she answers the one, <laughs> the one man, the man upstairs, the Lord of Light. He's not my one, you God. Who's yours? Death. Fuck. Ate that. Fuck. And what do we say to the god of death? <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> what do you say, boys? Time for a lion hunt. But what about River Run? It's not south. It's west of here. To take you home, and I will. But we need to do this first. Isn't any... I don't care what you swear. Because you're a liar. You lied to Gendry. You lied to me. You lied to anyone. I hope the lionesses kill you all. But now... Oh, Shit. <gasps> Kick all you like, wolf girl. Won't do you no good. <laughs> he didn't go too far. He's just been chilling. He's just been chilling. When Catelyn Stark released you, we both made a promise to her. Now it's your promise. You gave your word. Damn. Keep it. Damn. Damn. The debt paid. I will return the Stark ghost to the mother. I love this new storyline for you. Wow. Him. She believes him. Bye, Sir Jamie. Aww. Let me. It will take time. Much more pleasant conversation than the last time when I was pouring scalding hot wine <laughs> in your stomach. Tell Rob Stark I'm sorry I couldn't make his uncle's wedding. <laughs> the Lannisters. Don't you worry about your friend. We'll take good care of her. Not a fan of that. No. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Miranda knows what she's doing. Let her. She this trained is... as a scepter only. There's no one here but you, me, and Violet. This is such a fucked up little trick. This is so. I mean, yeah. Everybody talks about it. <laughs> he sent you. It's like no one is touching shit. I'm still. The thing is still there. Like the the <laughs> rack is still there. Like I'm not doing anything. Like. Do you think we're ugly? He thinks we're ugly. We need to make him feel better. And how can we make him feel better? Can we skip this part, please? In a in, in a in a show full of uncomfortable sex scenes, this is still this is I'm up like, there. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like we just can't enjoy this shit. Like I'm waiting for something some, terrible. Right, of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god. Is he getting him hard so he could cut his dick off? Should we see this cock everyone's always going on about? <laughs> your famous cock must be very precious to you. Would you say it's your most? No mercy, please! Please, mercy, mercy! Brought right in the cock cutting crew. Oh my god. I'm not killing you. Just making a few 
alterations. At this point, I'm just fighting as much as I can. I mean, I don't know. You're gonna scare it off. I'm not gonna scare it, I'm gonna kill it. You just scare it off, they're talking about his cock. <laughs> oh, God. Is that a palace? <laughs> Windmill. <laughs> windmill. That is kind of cute to see kind of her out of her Can depth a little bit. Like if you're impressed by a windmill, you'd be swooning if you saw the great keep at Winterfell. Not swooning. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> She's great. When a girl sees blood and collapses. Why would a girl see blood and collapse? <laughs> <laughs> Not all girls are like you. All girls see more blood than boys. Would you like God damn. Oh, a spider! Save me, Jon Snow! Yeah. <laughs> My dress is made of the purest silk from Tralalala Day. I'd like to see you. She broke him. Also, we get to see him, like, smile and shit like that, too. You? you know what I mean? Maybe one day I'll take you to Winterfell. Maybe one day I'll take you there. After we've taken our land back. Yeah, did you forget, uh, John? Uh, hey, he's getting a little lost in the sauce. If you attack the wall, you'll die. All of you. Mm. All of us. Knew it. Mm. <laughs> Knew she was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's, got a, she's a wild dude. She's got a little bit of a death boner, you know? Like, you're telling me I'm going to die again. I'm yours. No. And if we die, we die. But first we'll live. Yes. First we'll live. We found our love in a hopeless <laughs> place. <laughs> What's he going on about? Once I told my father. And how come he always She's the jealous type, chat? man. I wish I could tell him all the answers. It would be much easier. I don't want you talking to him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the little mama bear type okay, shit coming out. What did you, say? you need to go back to Castle Black so you can get back to them where you belong. What if I fell from that tower for a reason? It's like as a kid, you just started done? smoking weed. But it's you know what I mean? <laughs> like, 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 what if I'm right, right where I'm supposed to be, be, man? I have a higher purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. None of you know. None of you have been up there. She saw some shit, man. I had a man once. A good man. Bruni, his name was. Oh. I was his. People said he left me. But I knew him. He'd never leave me. Not for long. I knew he'd come back. And he did. Damn. His skin was pale, like a dead man's. I don't know how I got the knife. When I did, I stuck it deep into his heart, and he hardly seemed to notice. Gotta go for the brain. They don't know. They don't have zombie movies yet. No, zombie one hundred and one. Yeah. I promise your maester, I'd get you to Castle Black, and no further. Or just have her take you to Castle Black, and then fucking go beyond the wall, yeah. or whatever. Don't force her to do it. You know, like. Great scene from her. Ooh, oh, what's the oh, purpose of that? Oh, no oh, God. Oh, God. You're a learned man. For all the good it's done me. You did well oh, sewing up this mess. It's like a fucking sort of uncircumcised of monster mind. dick. So <laughs> 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 why did the Citadel take your chain? Did you fondle one boy too many? No, my lord. That's not my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What is? The only way to treat disease is to understand disease. The only way to understand it is to study the afflicted. You performed oh, experiments on living man. On dying man. With that permission. My studies have given me insight. <laughs> He's like, no, With I'm, uh, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 no, I was kind of like, I, w I was sort of, uh, I was like Nazi experimentation kind of going on here a little bit. <laughs> like, how many men have you killed, my lord? I don't know. Fifty. <laughs> Countless. Countless has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Half a million. The population of King's Landing. 
that's a pretty good kill count. That's a great. I mean, as far as like a yeah, but wouldn't it have been cool if he would have been like, how many have you saved? Countless. Countless. You know. He's convinced Lord Tarth owns all the sapphire mines in Westeros. Because of what he told him. She'll be their entertainment tonight. Beyond tonight, I don't think they care very much. The lie that saved her ends up killing her. Yeah. We have to return to Harrenhal. Why? I've left something behind. When my father sees me, the first thing he's going to ask is what happened to my hat? And I'm going to tell him this man chopped it off. I had no I could tell him this man saved my life. We return to Harrenhal now. <laughs> oh, on, right. Yeah. Am I in love? I mean, no, no, no. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy? Like this, like this time, like season one, we were like, "Fuck you, you worthless piece of shit." <laughs> like he was like, he was stabbed. Like he was accosting fucking Ned Stark in the in the fucking like in the outside of the brothel and shit. Like, oh shit. <gasps> Whoa! And she got scratched. And it's fucking Bart the Bear. Fucking performance. Stop running and fight! They gave her a wooden sword. Piece of shit. Gold, sapphires, whatever you want. Just get her out of there. And that makes me happier than all her sapphires. So go buy yourself a gold. Throw his ass in there. Oh man! Fuck you, Lord of my Bow! Lord Bolton charged me with bringing him back to King's Landing. Oh damn! Nice. Oh my God. And that's a real bear, too, and you can fucking tell, you know? Uh. <laughs> like, Give me. like, come on! Is this cocaine bear? <sighs> I wish. I think Bart, I think Bart, I think that's that's very famous screen, screen bear uh, called Bart, Bart the Bear. What do you think is more important to Lord Bolton? Getting his pet rat a reward or ensuring time and Lannister to get his son back alive? I'm just waiting for like one good solid head, but for real, throw yeah. him in. Well, we must be on our way. <laughs> Sorry about the sapphires. <laughs> okay, damn. You can breathe again. Let's... Sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of another feel good one, sort yeah. of. Honestly. Ask me if that makes me feel any better. It doesn't. It doesn't? <laughs> it's just leading up to something terrible. Well, I mean, again, there's a lot of absolutely horrible shit. Like, you know, it's, it's like one of those things, again, it's how you end it. Yeah. It's where you're like, where you're like ah, you know, like whatever. But like, that was a nice little W. Him going back for her. Yeah. Him not giving up. A bear know? fight? A bear fight. <laughs> We fought a bear, <laughs> Bart the bear. That guy, uh, he was in. He's been, he's been in a ton of shit. He was like, and I think at this point, they're like mostly do CGI stuff. And I, and I get it. Like it is, like, way more fucking humane. It's what you know. They're like, we gotta get like you know these animals to do things that like animals are not necessarily meant to do and shit like that. And that's totally cool. That being said, you can fucking tell when it's a real bear. <laughs> like you really can. And like. And he's also, even though also, he's almost like a little too cute too. Like, yeah. He's like, going, like whatever it was. Like, he's like, putting, he's like doing stuff on the ground and everything like that. But awesome fucking scene. But yeah, but this one, I mean, like, you know, pretty sure that Theon got castrated in this episode. Yeah, too. he definitely did. <sighs> Don't feel bad for him still. Feel a little bit. Yeah. Oh my fun, God, really? But I, I hate him. I still hate him. <laughs> As an actor, he is making me feel a little bit bad. Just sure, like sure, 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 sure. It, it's hard to not just be like, oh my God, that is insane. You know what I mean? Like, But I, I get it, I get yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah. He, he's a piece of shit. 
he's done a lot and everything, but it's like it's like we are literally disassembling everything about quite literally. He's one of the only people who's shown his penis on the show, and now it's getting cut off. So. Oh, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Come on, like, <laughs> that's like I don't know. It's like some weird, like you know, peen shaming. Type yeah, thing you show doing. it, it's got to go. It's got to go. Yeah, we've seen it. Now we got to take it away. The um, uh, or like we are going to ensure that we never see this penis <laughs> again. <laughs> One way to do that is to fucking take it away. I mean, like that shit was brutal though. Like those chicks are like fucking, and it's just like we are the same as him though. We're just like this is. A trap. Fucked. This is not, you know, whatever. I mean, like, it, he, he kind of, like, for a second, like, started to get into it just because it's, like, uh, like... Might as fucking well. If it's gonna go south, I'm, like, let's speed this shit up. This guy's coming back. <laughs> get the Cardi B. Beat it up. <laughs> Beat it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, or whatever. Just, like, yeah, bots. I mean, yeah, there's... Or there's, like, a certain element of, like, kind of just... If you're in such kind of, like, dire straits and circumstances and everything it's just like fuck it who cares like like it's like fuck it we ride yeah seriously like there's a there's a bit of that also a little bit of that with like kind of the the um uh yigret and john stuff where she's like okay cool then we're then we're gonna die but first we'll live yeah we'll live we'll live john, live john snow <laughs> she's so she's so great isn't she like like and like i don't know there's like a lot of love stuff in this episode or like I don't know there's I mean especially like with the warg with the warg weirdo like the guy from I think I is that the is that one of the actors from fucking uh Pirates of the Caribbean the guy who had like a like a like a eye that would like pop out or go into weird places or whatever there was like a short bald guy and then there was another guy. Who yeah, was like, right? like the two comic hello, relief guys. Hello, puppet. <laughs> you know whatever the fuck it is I think that he I think that that's supposed to be, I think that's that actor um but like, yeah, like the, you know, he says like, I'll be good to you, I'll love you, blah, 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 like whatever. It's like, I've been doing that because it, it's such a toxic, terrible thing to teach girls that the guy that picks on you or is mean to you is the one that likes you. Yeah. Like, because that like creates like a whole thing like, oh yeah, like my husband like treats me like shit, but it's because he loves me. You know what I mean? Like me. that can be extrapolated for a long fucking time. Um, I don't know. What else was, what else was? The Hound. Grabbing Arya, alive and well, and grabbing children, and I mean they, ba I mean because they basically said like you, it was essentially like you got, you're you're not guilty, so you get to go walk wherever the fuck you want to walk. But he did try to save Sansa and take her home. True. So maybe he'll do the same for Arya, even though she was rooting for him to die. I, I, I see it as probably one of those things. Like I don't, there is a. I have a better chance at nabbing a very high value prisoner. And I know that it's there. Yeah. And I mean, I suspect he would have fucking probably trailed the brotherhood for a long time, waiting for an opportunity to, to grab her. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, and she just happened, it just happened to be right before they rolled the fuck out and shit. Like, and I don't know. I mean, like, it's been kind of like this whole, like, like link Arya up with the most kind of like with the craziest pairing. Yeah. With people like on her list. You know what I mean? Tywin first. Yeah. It's like, what is we're going to have like Arya hanging out with Cersei at some point, <laughs> you know, or whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's like the, the prospect of them together is going to be interesting. She's going to be pissing, sh like, just pissing like vinegar at him, like, the entire fucking time. That'll be interesting. Um, Daenerys is out here slaying the game still. She's killing it. She's doing good. I mean, like, it was definitely doing, like, that kind of very, like, strong man, like, uh, it reminds me there was, like, a, um, uh, not, not to say that she's necessarily one to one to, like, a Putin or whatever, but Vladimir Putin, this one time he heard that the president of, um, of, uh, Angela Merkel, uh, like the kind of basically the, the prime minister, the de facto leader of of um, uh, Germany, he found out that she had a she was very afraid of dogs, and so he just had these dogs just like in the place where they were meeting for like a photo op and Love shit, that. and it's just like what you know what I mean? And she she did a really cool th she did a really cool thing. She was like it's like 
I mean, she was very obviously visibly uncomfortable and stuff like that. And she was like, that's OK, because like Russia has, you know, it has a terrible economy. It has a terrible fucking <laughs> infrastructure. It has a terrible fucking, you know, like kind of it has a terrible regime. All they have is this, you know, and that's fine because I don't give a you know, like or whatever. And she handled it very well or whatever. This guy did not handle it as well, but she's like taking literal pieces of red meat. Like, <laughs> oh, you said something I don't like. <laughs> Like or whatever that was sick what'd you think of that scene i love them i love the the color scheme on that very specific dragon that it's kind of like a black a reddish yeah, like type of thing sick. drogon that is the one that's named after after drogo love him yeah it's pretty r.i.p to a real r.i.p to a fucking <laughs> real one you think we're ever gonna get another ghost uh ghost momoa a ghost <laughs> moa in there if we're lucky if we're luck right if we're lucky right yeah i mean that yeah, it's a it's a great scene, and it just but also it's very cool to see because we also understand like how assured she is, you know, like she's like confident yeah. as fuck. She's like, I'll give you a present, your life, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, it, but it, I do want something in return. Just yeah, like, yeah, yeah of course, yeah, totally. Um, no, that'll be very that'll be that'll be fucking crazy to kind of see how that how that turns out, and then. Shit, what else? I mean, there was it was very lovey dovey with Rob mm -hmm. and Una. Pre Baby. Preggers, we're talking about babies a lot in this uh. motherfucker too. Like, like yeah, I mean that's a, that's huge. I mean like that's that's big. And Sansa's getting the talk. Yes, kind of like you know. I mean like again. And not just for my own personal reasons, because that'd be fucking, that'd be hot as hell to watch Natalie Dormer and Sophie Turner. <laughs> like, but like, she's, it was just, again, so incredibly well written and, and on Marjorie's part where she just, she was like, did your mother teach you? And she's like, yes. Girl. Like, <laughs> that was incredible. Sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, Sansa's kind of like, it seems like ever since season one, she's kind of had these, these opportunities to to learn from different characters. Like, yeah. I feel like she's kind of, like, in season two, she kind of learned, like, some stuff from Cersei. You know? She's, like, kind of, like... Because even Cersei was just, like, this is how we women have to play it, and this is how we can do, like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, and she's kind of getting, like... But that was sort of, like, obviously the chaotic evil, like, version of that. This is, like, the chaotic... maybe Or maybe this is just, like, neutral good yeah. kind of version of it, you know? Well, she's just, like, essentially telling her, like, these are the cards you're dealt. Now you have to work with it. Like, look at the bright side of things, because... What else are you gonna do? Seriously, I mean, like the, and and I suppose that, and that is, at least how it expresses itself in this, in this world, in this, you know, and with these characters. Shay's wiling out. Yeah. You, we uh, like you can understand it, but it's also just like, like, like I don't know. Like, it's not like he's choosing this on purpose. Right, and he he's and he just as upset. He like he he has a longer face about it than you do. You're angry. He's like sad. He's just like he does a little puppy dog dinkle stuff that he's got <laughs> going on, you know. And like the like it, it's like you can understand the impetus, but it's again also don't you under it's it, it I I get a little frustrated where I'm just like don't you are a, you are you are a whore and like and. You kind of know how this shit goes. You knew what you were signing up for already. You were already a secret. You're already a side piece. Like, yeah. you, you could never be legitimate. You think like, he was just going to never marry the entire Never lead? marry once? I mean, like, I'm sure. I mean, like, I I wonder. I mean, like, I think that there's an element. There's probably an element, like, without, like, this type of conflict or whatever, I would, I would bet that Tywin wouldn't give a shit if he ever in a certain sense. But also, like, this is almost ideal for Shay because you're already Sansa's, like, handmaiden. You know? Like, this is the best beard opportunity that could have been brought to you. Yeah, as far as just, like, you know, knowing knowing how she feels, like, she's not gonna fuck him, like, any more times than she has to, and likely he won't either. Yeah. And you then know? also, he's nice enough to be straightforward with Sansa as well and just be like, hey, like, I'm in love. Like, I want you to find your love. We just have to do this for paperwork. They do, they they go back to Hot D, like, they kind of pull, like, a Lenor and, yeah. and Rhaenyra type thing where they're just like, where they're just like, listen, like, I get it. Like, like, we'll both, 
We will show up for the meetings. We will be there for all the formal events. We will do whatever. We'll get I will... really drunk one night and have our baby. Yeah, like right, exactly. Yeah, shot. or like, or we'll just get like a like little chalice thing going. You just go, like right, you know, <laughs> whatever, and just figure it out. Get the turkey to get the turkey baster out and just kind of make it work <laughs> or whatever. But like the, and it's not just because we're shooting this around to Thanksgiving and stuff like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> not a stuffing joke. Right. <laughs> Move over eggs. We're done scrambling. <laughs> now we're going for the. <laughs> now we're going for the stuffing. Also, f very fun in that in that scene where Marjorie, like you can tell, like she's thought about it. She's like, oh damn, I wonder what it'd be like to. Like she's so cool and adventurous and like kind of open and shit. She's like, I wonder what it would be like to fuck Tyrion. Yeah, sister. she was like, he's he's been around. He knows yeah, he I mean, has like, to know what he's doing. Absolutely. Like I mean, like his, yeah, his, his sexual appetite is legendary. I wonder what. You know, although he's no Podrick. He's no Padraig, and also, who knows, maybe no Torment. Giant Spain. I know, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I actually lost my train of thought. <laughs> right, right, right. Going You're like, wait a minute, who the fuck is that? No, but, like, but that scene is like, most men fuck like dogs. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like, <laughs> he's like what, it's like, he's, it's, he's like the best version of like, kind of like male, like straight, like doofus knit. Like, like if, him, if all bros could be like this, wouldn't we be so goddamn lucky? Uh, you know what I, I mean? Like <laughs> Absolutely. We say, like, and then you stay down that you shouldn't, you shouldn't, your cock shouldn't touch her until she's as wet as, she's as, <laughs> as slick a as, a, as a baby seal. <laughs> I've been stealing that one for a long fucking time. Everything ever since I saw this episode. Jamie's jumping in. He's like, literally, he, he literally, did, I mean, he doesn't look like it anymore, but he did, like, he he kind of became, like, a knight in shining armor for the first time, except for he's a knight in shit-covered armor. Yeah. More so, you know? <laughs> like, but it was kind of, it's like, this is... I mean, again, like, we said, we had that, we had the, you know, the, the monologue in episode five and stuff like that, but it's like, we are... We are sort of dealing with, like, a changed person. Yeah. Now. You know what I mean? Like, and the, like J this Jamie would never give a flying fuck. Uh, like, you know, season one Jamie? No. Kid pushing Jamie? Like, this motherfucker. No, not this man has one hand and being like, get behind me. I got this bear. Seriously. Osha's, um, her little bit of backstory and she her little a, monologue. She's a zombie man. She's a zombie man or whatever. But, like, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She's, she's a great actress. Like, the talk, like, the talk. I can't think, think of her name off the top of my head, but. But she's great, like, in the way that she's like, I had a man, a good man. And you're just like, oh, like, or whatever it is. And then, like, And yeah. everybody's listening, even the people there that she doesn't even like. They're like, oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah, the reads, the Jurgen reads and shit like that. I mean, she's been, like, kind of, but that's my whole thing. I'm just like, I'll take you to the wall. Yeah. But she does care about Bran. She's come to care about Bran, you know, and so... I don't know. It would kind of be one, or just say like, "Okay, cool. We're gonna stay at the wall, right? You, you good? You like, you're gonna go back down? Like, okay, cool. You don't take your shoes off, and you just kind of <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's one of my favorite scenes. It's it's a scene that I've looked up like before to just watch. Like, on, it's because obviously you know this show becomes kind of like a like a YouTube clip show. Like, we're just like, I want to watch that one scene between those two because it was so fucking good. Is it Joffrey and Tywin? You are being counseled at this very moment. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Like, just like how they stage it, how he starts kind of lower, like, on the thing, ascends to where Joffrey's, like, literally, like, looking at up at him and the camera work is, like, kind of looking. He just seems more powerful and shit like that. And just, like... You know, it, it, you, you know, it's like one of those things that goes like, well, it's all the way up. It's all it's all the way up there. It's like, you're the king. We can have you carried. Like, like, it, do you want to be a part of this or not? Yeah. It's like, or do you want to leave it up to me, the real motherfucker, and smirking as he's walking out and shit? I don't know. Well, also, I was like holding my breath almost because I'm waiting for this little twerp to say something appalling. And he's so scared of Tywin as well that like, He's still a, a, a twerp, but oh. it's very toned down because he definitely fears him. He's out he's out of his he he's the grumpy grandpa who's sitting in the fucking recliner, just wants to watch his stories. It's like don't fucking you know, don't bother him until dinner time type thing. Like gotta stay away. I mean, like, I don't know. It, it was just a very like just again, like a really, really great 
like just scene of just like dialogue and subtext and shit you know and it's like i don't know it's it's like even though you know joffrey's got the right idea for being worried about daenerys yeah he does but like, he's also scared of everything yeah, oh, no right 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 it's what it's like it's like this is one time where and also like it kind of makes sense in the way that like he would be more mindful of that because he is like still like kind of a child you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's like, oh, I'm worried about the dragons, like the the you know the, the the monsters under his bed. The thing, you know what I mean? Like yeah, totally. And so I I don't know, it, but but his instincts are right. The fuck off. <laughs> like you know, killer fucking episode. Another good one. We got one more. Down. We got we're, we're shooting two today, so I'm ready to rock the this. next one. Ready to go? I'm ready. Hell yeah! All right, we appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with us as a hot d fan watches got for the very first time we just did episode three or episode seven of of season three um i'm getting everything all mixed up over there but we just did season three episode seven if you guys want to watch episode eight you guys want to watch it right now and you don't want to wait and you want to help support the channel the best way to do all three of those fucking things is to hit us up on our patreon the link's in the top end comment or the description below it's right down there you click that link you head on over you hit us up for only eight dollars over there at the premium streaming tier and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our Game of Thrones coverage, including the next episode, episode eight. We're dealing in a post bear attack world. We're dealing <laughs> in a post. We're dealing in a post fucking like you know, slick as a baby seal world. What are we doing with that information? What's a happening? We don't know. We're looking forward to checking out. If you guys want to see that, you guys have a, it's available to you right now. And every time that we make a drop on YT, you get the next corresponding episode that week, completely full and uncut. So we hope you guys do that. But if you can't do that, hit ourselves with a like, a subscribe. Ring the bell thingy because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. We appreciate y'all for hanging out with us and we'll check y'all later.